I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Very exciting. I know why you're happy to, s <laughs> happy to see me. I'm a guy on TV not standing in the rain. That's right. <laughs> he's, he's fools in the rain. <laughs> Aren't they fools telling you how dangerous the storm is while they're standing in the middle of it? <laughs> it's one or the other. Uh, millions could be without power. <laughs> yeah, they're called Democrats. <laughs> uh, but, oh. but, look, people in the Carolinas are freaking out over Flor Florence. Not, not the hurricane, a trans woman <laughs> who is <laughs> using the wrong bathroom. That, that, that. <laughs> but you know, we, we wish the best for the Carolinas. <laughs> They can't hear me, they have no power. No. <laughs> we wish them out. But the president is on it. He wants you to know that the government is ready. He is monitoring the storm from the command center in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> he has stockpiled tweets. <laughs> and he is prepared to give himself an A+. <laughs> handles it, and to dispute how many died in the last storm in Puerto Rico. Did you see what this asshole did all week? <laughs> Obsessing on the one a year ago that he fucked up. It, it was way less than 3,000. And the ones who did die, it wasn't from lack of paper towels, I tell you that. <laughs> Trump is saying that the Democrats inflated the numbers of dead to make me look bad. <laughs> and if one thing there is that Donald Trump hates, it's somebody who falsely inflates numbers. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he just, ugh, he can't stand that. Three million illegals voted for, yes, okay. <laughs> Does everything have to be about him? Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, when he uses a condom, he wears it inside out <laughs> so that it's ribbed for his pleasure. <laughs> I'm joking. He's never worn a condom. <laughs> but really, Clinton was the I feel your pain president. He's the I am your pain president. And I... I honestly think he didn't even know until a few days ago that 3,000 people died in Puerto Rico. I think the staff is always hiding the bad news from him. Like when you tell your toddler when you have to put the dog down that he's living on a farm. <laughs> it's like that with Trump. It's, it's like, hey, where's Michael Cohen lately? He's living on a farm, Mr. <laughs> well, oh, speaking of that. Speaking of that, all the weather buried the big news. Paul Manafort flipped on Fat Donnie. That's right. That's right. Fat Donnie got flipped on <laughs> by his former consigliere, the campaign manager. Paul Manafort, he is now cooperating with the Mueller team as part of a plea deal. And Mueller has gotten plea, plea deals now from Manafort and Flynn and Gates and Papadopoulos and Pecker, the <laughs> National Enquirer dude, Weisselberg, Trump's longtime lawyer, Michael Cohen. I don't want to say Mueller is getting cocky, but he showed up in court today wearing an ostrich jacket. I... I... <laughs> I mean... Trump's paranoia level now is just off the chart. I mean, is there anyone who wouldn't rat him out? Today, when he was groping Ivanka, it was just to see if she was wearing a wire. <laughs> All right, we got a great show. S.C. Cup, Richard Clark, and Mark Leibovich are here, and a little later we'll be speaking with the founder of USA Facts, Steve Ballmer, the owner of the Clippers. Maybe you'll get Clipper tickets. But first up, he was a war hero. He certainly was an activist, a senator, a secretary of state, and the 2004 Democratic nominee for president, whose new memoir is Every Day is Extra. John Kerry. 